A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Carlo. No shit. Don Colo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe, it's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. Can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Vito! Is uh, that you? Hello, Mrs. Uh... Vito? It is you. You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so proud. Uh, 
And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How's he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago. Yeah, uh, Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Come on, Marie. Let him go. Yeah, we'll be right back. It's just one lousy beer. <laughs> I hope those are ours. Of course they're ours. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. Schools, yeah. my fault. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Vito. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so oh. Sit down, sit down. Home. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Bendice, Signore, la manciata, che porta la volontà. Siamo ricevendo, provvede nel cuore che ci sono più di You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. So, uh, you got a boyfriend yet? Not yet. What's that? The boys in the neighborhood these days are not so good. She'll meet the right man one day. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio.
I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you money. gotta sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Oh. Stop, stop, please. Vito, what are you doing? Ah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. <laughs> this is a bad time. <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Ugh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. 
Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. Now, you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching a clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh, thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive a while. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Empire Times! Get your Empire Times! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retired, please. How are you? The uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. 
Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedì. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do Jolly. it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like staying in that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs them. Here, park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Well, afternoon to you. Something I can do for you? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. You can paint it any color you like. Take your pick.
looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. 